Hello, hello, mom and dad, meet world. So we are talking here about the iPad Pro. We have got the 12.9 inch iPad Pro here, and this comes in very, very useful, but there are some use cases where you just want or need a bigger monitor or display, and it can be done so with just one cable using a now obsolete Apple Thunderbolt display but you can also do this with a studio display. It's just gonna cost you a little bit more because a studio display starts at about $1,599 US, where you can pick one of these up for, I would say $200 or below, which is gonna be a great deal. And some will even come with this right here. This is a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 cable right here, or adapter, as I would say. And this Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 is what you're gonna to need to hook up this USB-C style cable, which is gonna be Thunderbolt 3 to your iPad Pro. So you just plug it in just like this. So Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt, and then it just gets plugged in right here to the iPad. And we're gonna to swipe to turn it on. And as you see here, this is my home screen right here. It's gonna set up the external display. And when I had plugged this in earlier, it asked me, do I want to enable stage manager for the extended display? I said, yes. So I've got a Apple Magic keyboard right here, hooked up to the back of this along with ethernet. And the mouse is just hooked up here to the side because I don't know if you know this, but these keyboards right here do have a USB port on either side. And the USB port makes it really, really darn handy to bring this up where you can bring up a web page right here. We've already got Apple loaded right here and full scrolling functionality. The only thing I have not been able to do was figure out how to get to this particular menu on with using this mouse. But the only other thing I would suggest here is make sure you do absolutely charge your iPad because this does not provide power. This is one cable for your USB accessories and your external display, but it does not provide power. So this particular machine right here is only now at 8%, which is not very good and uh, we need power, but there is another solution to this. So let us meet the other solution. The other solution is the Thunderbolt dock. And here we've got the CalDigit TS3 Plus along with the power supply and along with a genuine Apple Thunderbolt cable, which you absolutely need a Thunderbolt cable. A USB-C cable will not work to make sure this works properly. So let's hook it up here. So we'll plug into the wall here. Thunderbolt cable right here from the display with the adapter. We're gonna plug it into the back where it's got a Thunderbolt port right here. Take the Thunderbolt cable. Plug it in there. Plug this in right here. So we've got, it's charging, unlock, stage manager. We're gonna make sure we uncheck the mirror display. And you can do all this with the studio display XDR, or you can actually, you can do all this with the studio display but it's just gonna start at just a bit more money. But with this, it's not quite as elegant, but if you can find one of these CalDigit TS3 docks or a TS4, you can pick up both for a fraction of what the studio display is going to cost, except this is not gonna be 5K. And you actually do still get music from here. So I've got our channel up here. So I've got ethernet hooked up. Ethernet is hooked up. 
just wanted to play one of our videos right here to show that sound definitely does work. Using the keyboard. Hello, hello, Mom and Dad, Meat World. So we are at Mount St. Helens Visitor Center. We and the sound is coming from this guy right here. Visitor Center. What it does, it brings you in a very big circle. And we can just mute the sound. But yes, sound does work. Hi, Mom and Dad, Meat World viewers. So I hope this helped as an alternative to adding a bigger display to your iPad Pro just because I know there is a new Final Cut that is out for iPad and if you just want to view your content on a bigger display hopefully this can do it. You don't have to add the dock, you can just add the dock if you just want a few more choices like being able to charge your iPad or to be able to power your iPad too without having to worry about battery or draining it when hooked up directly to the Thunderbolt display. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. And thank you for watching. We really appreciate that also.